हेलो नमस्ते वेलकम टू दिस चैनल डॉक्टर ए आर एम्स केमिस्ट्री फ्रेंड्स वी वेर डिस्कसिंग द ट्रांजिशन मेटल कार्बोन एंड इन दैट प्लेस लास्ट टाइम वी हैव सीन द स्ट्रक्चरल पार्ट ऑफ दिस मेटल कार्बोन एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द नेक्स्ट पार्ट द रिएक्शन ऑफ मेटल कार्बोन द रिएक्शन एसोसिएटेड विद दिस मेटल कार्बोन आर structurally correlated to the substituent that is ligand which is attached to the metal ion that is the carbonyl group so carbonyl group is the site of reaction in most of the reactions of metal carbonyl so the large number of reactions <coughs> of various carbonyls are known and most of these reactions are those in which the carbon monoxide may be displaced by the ligands that is the ligands such as so if we see the metal carbonyl so if we take this mcu6 m is any metal so that metal which is attached to this Uh, carbonyl group so this part of this carbonyl group can be displaced with suitable ligand <clears throat> so if we show this like this so all these are these carbonyl groups <clears throat> so this portion can be replaced by the ligands that is displace it displace Into reactions. So there is CO group can be displaced by some other ligands, such as the PX3. Here X is chloride. Then PR3, alkyl phosphate. Then POR3, SR2. Nr3 trialkyl amines dialkyl thiols <coughs> OR2 OR2 and R and C or unsaturated on saturated molecules organic organic molecules such as c6 so these are the molecules such as c6 h6 which are having unsaturated all over the ring then cyclopentaprine cyclopentaprine So in this way, there are more many reactions which shows the replacement of this carbonyl group with the help of these powerful, <coughs> you can say the Lewis bases. Another important uh, general reaction is that with the bases of <coughs> simple type. So the other bases are. Like OH minus, H minus, NH two, etc. So these are leading to the carbonylate ions. <clears throat> so the reactions of this will produce the carbonylate ions. So we will see some examples later on. Now, depending upon the electronic structure, that is the eighteen electron system, sixteen electron system, seventeen electron system, the metal carbonyls will participate in variety types of reactions such as dissociative and associative reactions. <coughs> so, depending upon 
depending upon 18 electron system or 16 electron system or 15 electron system etc or 17 electron system. system the type of reaction will be different but when the <coughs> electronic system that is effective atomic number we can see, is less than this 18 electron system <coughs> so depending upon this structure of the metal carbonyl is an 18 electron system or this not <coughs> so when the metal carbonyl is an 18 electron system species or not dissociative or associative mechanism is observed for substitution reactions so if we see the substitution substitution reactions so there are two types that is dissociative first of all we will take the associative mechanism and dissociative mechanism so when the, the electronic system is the 16 or 17 16 or 17 electron system then you will find the mechanism involved or the type of substitution reaction is associative <coughs> so it contains the metal carbonyl which will show the associative means the ligands uh, are added or sometimes dimers are also produced so depending upon the structure the number of monomers are involved then such reactions are found to be so these reactions are found to be fast compared to dissociative mechanism which proceeds now if we see the dissociative mechanism it will have 18 electron system and this is rather slow compared to this associative mechanism <coughs> the substitution of carbonyl groups under thermal and photochemical reactions or conditions constitute the most common reaction of metal carbonyls so these reactions will involve these reactions will also involve the thermal or photochemical photochemical conditions so the reactions <coughs> will contain the substitution reactions are thermal with the reactions are accelerated by using the thermal radiations is by using the ovens at suitable temperature and voltage or wax <coughs> purpose uh, with uh, defined well defined the time in addition to this the reactions such as disproportionation so in addition to this the third type of reaction are disproportionation is proportionation disproportionation reactions <coughs> in addition to this the other types of reactions involved are 
also oxidative decarbonation oxidative oxidative de carbonylation oxidative decarbonylation similarly reduction and addition and addition of nucleophiles addition of nucleophiles <coughs> or the carbonyl monoxide can be carried out on metal carbonyls so this we just summarize the variety type of types of reactions now we will see one by one the, the first type of the reaction is the re these all these reactions uh, Nick requires in most of the cases uh, the molecule that is metal carbonyl needs to be activated by stable other reactions so the this will give the intermediate or the active reagent so this first initial step uh, we will see that is the formation or preparation of activation of metal carbon or that is activation of metal carbonyls or we have to prepare the activated intermediate of metal carbonyl so that it will uh, participate in the formation of the substitution reactions so the first type of reaction is that is activation of metal carbonyls <coughs> so this this will require the molecules such as Davies bases as well as olefins and reeds. So this will require requires olefins. Olefins, Lewis basis, Lewis basis, and arrays, and arrays. <coughs> so these are the some of the ligands which can be thermally substituting and which are used as the active reagents. So complete substitution of all carbonyl groups is not possible or rarely accomplished. So complete means if we take the metal MO uh, M CO6. So the complete substitution of all six carbonyl groups is rarely accomplished. It means it is not easily possible. One method is used for activation of metal carbonyls is the formation of intermediate. That is introduction of a rarely relatively more labile ligand. So in order to obtain such intermediate, it is required to use the more active ligand, that is the labile ligand. So that is replaced the later on by relatively a softer, means less reactive ligand under mild conditions. So this formation will take place, means this will undergo the formation that is the formation of activated complex we see it will be obtained by reaction by reaction with more level that is more active Lewis base that is ligand which is electron replaced by suitable less active ligands 
under milder conditions. Uh, this <coughs> is and then the same is replaced by less active ligand under mild conditions. <coughs> Some of these metal carbonyls <coughs> which are used here as transfer reagents. So for the some of the metal carbonyl transfer reagents are like this. So some of the metal carbonyl transfer reagents transfer reagents are like this. So it will involve the solvents like PHF as MOCO5, then CH2, Cl2, Cr. CO5 then MO CO4 non Here, M is here. This M is molybdenum and tungsten. Then, if he CO3 cyclooctadiene cyclooctadiene so these reagents are necessary to form the reagents transfer reagents <coughs> you know, to uh, produce the necessary reaction. So these reagents are directly prepared by reaction between the metal carbonyls that is homoleptic metal carbonyls means all the uh, ligands are carbonyls. So homoleptic carbonyls using homo Leptic carbonyls. We can prepare the transfer reagents by reaction with solvents. So plus solvents under conditions or reagent. Solvent or reagent under the conditions under the conditions such as thermal or photochemical conditions thermal or photochemical Under the conditions, the thermal or for chemical conditions, we can prepare these transfer reagents. So we will see.
few of these reactions here. The first reaction, if we take the chromium carbon hexacarbonyl Cr Cu6 plus, so <coughs> this is when heated in over at minus 30 degree centigrade for 100 minutes. The solvent is THF, the pH is 150 and H nu. So we get the reagent such as So this is the product which is called the transfer reagent. So here THF is used here as a solvent to obtain this product. <coughs> now second reaction. CR CO6 plus So this in presence of ligroin that is ligroin. So we can also use the ethers. It is also in the formula. We will show this uh, in presence of ligroin. Uh, condition is reflux for. 9 hour minor. The product of K is like this. We can show this body in this way. Right. <coughs> so here the ligroin is CN H2M. Here n is equal to five to eight. N is equal to five to eight. 
Now the third reaction Cr CO sinks. When it is reflux with CH3 Cl. We get CO Cr. This um, reaction with C6H6 that is solvent 20, 25 degrees centigrade. We get another product that is So these are three <coughs> reaction types by which we can prepare the uh, reagents, transfer metal carbonate transfer reagents. <coughs> now we will see second type of reactions. So these are based on the active center in the carbon monoxide. Uh, where it is either carbon or a oxygen. So the reactions involving reactions involving reactions involving attack at carbonyl carbon. At carbonyl carbon. <laughs> so here we find that the carbonyl carbon, <coughs> that is carbon monoxide, is sometimes an unreactive spectator. It is sometimes. So this carbonyl carbon monoxide is unreactive. or it is a reactive actor or a reactive actor <coughs> means it plays both roles in different types of reactions Following reactions which we will show here will depend upon means the type of reaction will depend upon the magnitude of or the degree of polarization of carbon monoxide means how much electron density of the carbon oxygen bonds is uh, moving on uh, either carbon or oxygen so that will decide the actually uh, type of reaction further <coughs> the carbon monoxide on bonding 
it also uh, shows the dependence of reaction on the co-ligands and net charge change or net change in the charge. <coughs> so, this reaction is promoted by the electro electrophilicity of carbonyl carbon. This reaction is promoted by it is promoted by electrophilicity electrophilicity of carbonyl carbon. And the reactions involved here are called hybrid based reactions. So these reactions are called hybrid based reactions. Hyperbase reactions. <clears throat> now we will see some examples which are involved, <clears throat> which are presenting this type of reaction. So the fission carbon is prepared in this way. So fission carbon, carbon can be prepared in this way. Now we will show the reactions here. A is that is carbon monoxide CO5 and O and CO. So this carbonyl carbon will show the electron density on because of the formation of metal carbonyl bond the electron this carbonyl carbon is also becoming the electron deficient center and this becomes the electron relatively rich center. So after undergoing reaction with lithium, methyl lithium in ether, it will produce the product like this CO5. Molybdenum is here taken as metal. So it will form the intermediate like this. So this is interconvertible into CO5 MO minus C double bond over here and here it is the nucleophile. So this one Reaction with methyl iodide. gives the product that is <coughs> CO five MO. That it is number one with carbon nucleophile and OME. So this is also in equilibrium with or you can say interconvertible with CO5 and O gets minus charge by this C double bond OME and gains electron deficient center and then it becomes uh, oxygen becomes this electron deficient center. <coughs> so in this way, fissure carbon is obtained. Carbon. And such carbons are more reactive. Then we will see second reaction.
<coughs> that is we will see the B type reaction. Here we will take this example CO5 MO CO delta plus is carbon and this reacts with any three and plus and O minus. So reaction means so here you will find that oxygen is electron rich center that is the nucleophilic center and this is electrophilic center so this will go to this carbon and this N N3 will go to this <coughs> oxygen so we will get this product CO5 and O and if we show this like this O minus which is directly combining with this uh, electron division center and this <coughs> is O oxygen O so if we keep this oxygen here by moving the electrons so we will show this as N plus O N plus N E three. Now, this is interconvertible with CO five. MO minus then C double bond O oxygen and MO three. So the electrons are migrating in this way. So this will produce after this migration of electrons that this carbon dioxide group will be released that is minus CO2 and this NM3 is also released and we will get this new product that is CO5 MO and this is <coughs> so this minus charge will re attract this ligand which is less reactive this L is less reactive than this Me3NO and but after formation of this intermediate the reaction of L becomes uh, easy under mild conditions then C a reaction so you see this CP means cyclopentanine and O nitro C then P PH3 triphenyl phosphate and E metal carbon monoxide plus so this reacts with Li BH Pt3 and gives Cp cyclopentrine nitro C then PPH3 and E and the reaction this carbon monoxide will become 
so bonding with this H minus. So you have carbon. You can actually hear H and this double bond. Boom. So here the we have seen the reactions A B. So these reactions are giving the carbene complex or carbene like intermediate with metal carbon multiple bonds and reaction C type is showing one of the rare ways of uh, formation of the reaction formation of a suitable product as shown here that is formation of a hydride like structure so we will show that uh, this shows that next part of this same reactions electrophilic attack electrophilic attack at carbonyl oxygen So here oxygen is important center where the reactions are taking place. <coughs> so here this react we find that these reactions are promoted by nucleophilicity at carbonyl oxygen. So carbonyl oxygen is showing the nucleophilicity. So these reactions are said to be promoted by Nucleophilicity and carbon oxygen. Now we examples. So here we see the CO PR3 R E C O. So this on reaction with Lewis acid such as Al Na3. So this oxygen is Actively, so this will be bonding with this oxygen and it will produce Cl Pr3 Re CO. So this oxygen is electron rich and it will bond with this Al Na3. So this is Lewis acid based reaction, this is Lewis base, this is Lewis acid. So you can have other reactions like this Cp, so if you put Fe, then CO, carbon monoxide, then FeF bond is also there, the bridging carbon monoxide bonds are also there, and here the carbon monoxide and the Cp. So this also undergoes reaction with this Al. FeAlEt3 and gives the product of Cp and here Fe CO then here there is OEt3 OAlEt3 O Similarly, here O Al and this is CO and this CP. That will open the line. <coughs> so these are two examples of this type of reaction. Now we will see the third, the third reaction is migratory insertion, migratory insertion. This type of reaction 
is promoted by electrophilicity of carbonic carbonyl. So this is promoted by promoted by electrophilicity. Electrophilicity of carbonyl carbon. So your carbon is electrophilic and now it is explained by the reaction like MeNaCO5 MeNaCO5 So when this reaction reacts with Pne3 it gives Me, M -E -M -E -C -O -M -N P M E C O M N P So this reaction is called the migratory insertion. So there is you will find that this PME3 group is inserted here as another began. <clears throat> so here we find that the insertion of such ligand is possible because of the electrophilicity of carbon in carbon. So as two electron reagent, the H can attack the 18 electron system and <clears throat> Of Re, but instead of attacks the carbon monoxide, uh, it gives formyl ligand, and this is stable. So the empty site is produced here to allow the rearrangement reaction to form a hydrido dicarbonyl complex, which we have seen in the earlier reaction. That is C reaction. Now the next reaction, that is fourth reaction, is disproportionation. Disproportionation reaction. <clears throat> so here, some multi metal carbonyls can undergo the disproportionation reaction in presence of suitable ligands upon leading to the carbonyl anions. Is the disproportionation is reaction between the same molecules but one gives cation and one gives anion. So, so we can give the example of this reaction so that we easily easily understand this mechanism. So I have two CO ten plus twelve PD ligands. So this will react at one twenty degree centigrade and minus so minus ten carbon monoxides are uh, eliminated and it gives two products. So one is cation and one is anion. So this is twice. So you know there are 30 carbon monoxides and 6 mm and 12 py, out of which 10 carbon monoxides are eliminated. So 20 are remaining there and which are shown here as 2 mm py really adds. 6, 2 plus that is cation plus anion is Mn CO IU with this minus charge. So in this way we can obtain this cation and this anion. So this disproportionation gives us the cations and anions.
<coughs> so we will stop our discussion and remaining reactions will be continued in the next lecture so see you next time <coughs> please subscribe to this channel and also press the like button thank you very much for watching this video see you next time